show that Laplace transform of any periodic function f of t is given by f of s is equal to f1 of s multiplied with 1 over 1 minus e power minus t into s where f1 of s is Laplace transform of one cycle of periodic function. Now let us assume that f of t is a periodic signal a signal is said to be periodic signal if it satisfies the condition f of t is equal to f of t plus n into t where n is integer and t is period of signal. Now let us consider one periodic signal. Let this be f of t. This is 0. Say this is something a and something t here. We know this is t plus a and this will be 2t and so on. So here we can observe that this signal is a periodic signal with the period t. It means that at every t the same signal will repeat that is the signal is present for 0 to a and a to d a to t its value is 0. So I can say the period of this signal is t. Now after t the same signal will repeat that is t to t plus a we have a pulse and t plus a to 2t it is 0 and again at 2t the same thing will repeat. This kind of signal is known as periodic signal and here t is period of one cycle or I can call it as this is one cycle of periodic signal. So this one cycle of periodic signal I will represent it as or I will call it as f1 of t. Let f1 of t be the first cycle of periodic function f of t. So now this f1 of t that is the first cycle of this f of t is nothing but f1 of t. I will try to represent this f1 of t in terms of unit step function. Representing f1 of t in terms of unit step function. Therefore, I can write f1 of t is equal to that is the signal is present for 0 to a u of t minus u of t minus a. So here I can I can show it that is u of t, this is u of t signal. So u of t minus a, u of t minus a is a same signal u of t but shifted version it begins at t equal to a and this minus indicates it is a negative signal. So I can represent u of t minus a as
u of t minus a means this is this is a this is u of t minus a so minus of u u of t minus a means i can represent it as like this so this is minus u of t minus a so now adding this signal with this signal adding these two we will get back that is first cycle of f of t that is f1 of t so i will call the first cycle f1 of t as equation number 1 now consider second cycle second cycle of f of t so now from t to 2t is my second cycle from here to here is my second cycle i will call the second cycle as f2 of t so here i can write f2 of t as as the f2 of t begins at t equal to t i can represent it as u of t minus t and end set to t so we, t plus a as here we have written u of t minus of u of t minus a similarly f2 of t can be represented as u of t minus t which begins at t and the pulse ends at t plus a so i i will subtract this from u of t minus t plus a can also be represented as f2 of t is equal to so now compare the f2 of t with f1 of t f2 of t and f1 of t are same but f2 of t is delayed version of f1 of t as we know f1 of t is first cycle of f of t f2 of t is second cycle of f of t both are same but f2 of t is delayed version of f1 of t so i can write this f2 of t as equal to f1 of t minus t that is f2 of t is nothing but f1 of t which begins at t equal to t therefore i can represent it as f2 of t is equal to f1 of t minus t in, and the unit in terms of unit step function as t minus t that is anything multiplied with unit step function is same function now consider third cycle of f of t so i can represent third cycle of f of t which begins at 2t i, I, I can show here which begins at 2t and ends at 2t plus a this is my third cycle so here i can represent third cycle as f3 of t is equal to it begins at t equal to 2t i can represent it as u of t minus 2t minus u of t minus 2t plus a so now here again i can say the third cycle of f of t is same as first cycle of f of t 
but begins at t equal to 2t. Therefore, I can represent f3 of t in, in terms of first cycle as f1 of t minus 2t u of t minus 2t. I will call it as equation number 3. So now in general, Fn of t that is n cycle or Fn of t can be represented in terms of F1 of t as F1 of t minus here it is 3 we got it as 2 so here it is n minus 1 n minus 1 t u of t minus n minus 1 of t. So therefore now I can write f of t as f1 of t plus f2 of t plus f3 of t plus fn of t because f of t is a periodic signal this is first cycle second cycle third cycle and so on let laplace transform of f1 of t is equal to f1 of s Therefore, I can say Laplace transform of shifted signal that is f1 of t minus t as e raised to minus t s f1 of s. We know this. So we will call this as equation number 4 using equation 1, 2 and 3. equation 4 can be written as f of t is equal to f1 of t plus f1 of t minus t u of t minus t plus f2 of t minus 2t u of t minus 2t taking Laplace transform of above equation I can write Laplace transform of f of t is f of s Laplace transform of f1 of t is f1 of s plus Laplace transform of shifted version of f1 of t is nothing but e power minus s t f1 of s plus Laplace transform of this is e power minus 2s f1 of s plus and so on. I can represent it as f of s is equal to f1 of s. I will take f1 of s common 1 plus e power minus st plus e power minus 2st it is t here plus and so on
we know that one plus e power minus s t plus e power minus two s t plus so on is equal to one over one minus e power minus t into s. Therefore, now we can write f of s is equal to f1 of s multiplied with this is nothing but 1 over 1 minus e power minus t into s. So this is the required solution. Thus the conclusion is if we need to find the Laplace transform of any periodic function we no need to calculate the Laplace transform of entire periodic signal rather perform Laplace transform of first cycle or any one cycle of the periodic signal that can be represented as f1 of s when this will be multiplied with 1 over 1 minus e power minus t s where t is period of the given periodic signal. This gives the Laplace transform of entire periodic signal f of t. Thank you.